Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, I'm going to show you a demo where we can build agents without typing single line of code all through Google Anti-Gravity. It's the name of the new agentic development platform launched by Google designed to empower AI agents to act as independent software developers. Yes, they need very minimal human intervention. It's a coding tool built on the Gemini 3 Pro model. The key functions are amazing. It does autonomous coding. It allows agents to write, build, test and to verify by giving them direct control over the tools like the editors, terminals and browsers. The workflow management is amazing. It helps developers manage, monitor multiple agents across different workspaces. Of course, yes, it introduces a feature called artifacts, the task list, the screenshots and recordings, all those included there to provide transparent documentation of agents actions and plan. In short, Google Anti-Gravity is the new software platform for AI powered coding, not related to the concept of physical anti-gravity. It's going to be simple. You can download it from the website antigravity.google slash product. You can download it for X X64 or for ARM. I have downloaded, I have installed and now I am going to start the work right away. I have typed a prompt for you. Here I need you to build a very simple helpful agent. The agent should answer basic questions related to interview readiness or general healthcare lifestyle step tips in a clear and friendly manner. Please build the project using OpenAA SDK, Gemini 4.0 mini model, a simple interactive Gradio UI, a clean .env file for storing the API key. The agent only needs to take the user question, generate helpful response, display the answer in the UI. No need for any self-learning, no need for any reflection loop, just a simple input to the output. Please provide the folder structure, .env template, Python code for agent, Gradio interface code, instructions to run everything. Make the setup clean and run it nice. That's all. I made the prompting very, very clear and it's now starting the work. Yes, the work is started already. We've got models available here. Gemini 3 Pro High, Gemini 3 Pro Low. Cloud, Cloud Sonnet 4.5, Cloud Sonnet 4.5 thinking, medium, we have options. I have already exhausted Gemini 3 Pro high and low because I have been trying, so I have exhausted. You can see that the structure is getting created and all these happen. All these happen, trust me, in a very, very nice way. It doesn't require your support at all. So it's kind of like, we'll ask you, can I do this? You need to just click accept. You need to fill the uh, open API key. That's another task that you need to do. Rest all, it does on its own. It's amazing, simple, powerful, and useful. So what for you're waiting? Go ahead, start trying it out, and it's going to make you an A agent builder. Yes, we all can build agents, and I'm going to show you more examples, and it's fantastic. It's really fantastic. You can gain a lot of knowledge, you can build things, you can see that, and you can really uh, use this to the best possible extent to build agents for yourself. So you need not be dependent on any other tool now see that it has started doing everything. So all the structure that I asked for is created. You can see that the code is getting created. All these happen. So it has asked me for the open API key. I have fed in also that. Now you can see that it's automatically identifying the issues and it's fixing it on its own as well. We do not have to do much. Yes, it's building everything on its own. You can see that everything is installed. Now let's run the app. You can see that it's automatically trying it out. It's running, it will test it on its own and it will be able to give us the final output very nicely. You can see that all these things are done. So it is saying that you need to just create a .env file. So we have to create a .env file where we will have to go ahead and get the .env ready. It is saying that I can create it for you. Just tell me you have to create .env file for you. You can see that it has given me an option too where it can create a .env file for me. Then I can add the API key. Right? So I will ask it to do. So I am asking it to do it by itself. So I have selected option 2 where it is going to create everything on its own. It will create a .env file for us now and it's going to be simple. See, it's created right away here. So you can see that here. Now you can see that I've got 
the dot env created for me and it has got the open api key already filled that's it it's done i have added open api key and you test so it's saying perfect let me run the app and test it for you that's all it's getting it pulled so it has found some error and it is checking with the compatibility issue that the radio has and it will fix it on its own so i need to accept changes wherever it is asking for changes to be accepted please accept you can review it understand what kind of change it is that's a good thing to do but for the want of time i have accepted it i know it's going to be behind only so it's running it after the change it's going to be fun so i've got multiple models available here as i told you so i have run some model and because of that i think it has blocked the code so it is telling me that 7860 is already used that's okay so it will fix it on its own and let's see how it assigns different port for it so accept changes all done so the port number is changed here you can see that it's interesting right i mean the amount of time that you really need to go ahead and build everything on your own would be very hefty so here we are getting it pulled in such a short duration of time it's going to be fantastic so it's going to check it right now Yes, you can see that it is testing on its own. I didn't do anything; it is testing on its own. You can see the UI is launched, and it is testing on its own. You are not doing anything. We are just accepting whatever changes it is suggesting. We are feeding the key. That's it. We are feeding the prompt, and that's it. We get everything pulled. All amazingly done. Right. So let me see the screen right now. The app is running in your terminal. Keep it running. That's it. So we can test it as well, and let's see how exactly it works. So, for example, what can I eat in the morning for breakfast? I'm asking it, and it's passing it. It's really, really cool. See, amazing. 